you know, I don't usually talk about, you know, alpha, beta, sigma, gamma, all these different types of things. But for this video, I'm going to talk about the sigma, okay? Because everyone can kind of, everyone kind of knows what that is, you know? You see all like the sigma grinds at stuff, or like the sigma grinds at John Wick memes. You know, I think there's like a time and place for that sigma grind set. You know, when you, you've been cheated on, you're down bad in some way, I don't know, your girlfriend broke up with you, things are not going too well, you know? You feel like a loser, maybe you are a loser, okay? You're struggling and you need things to get better. And I was sometimes just fed up of not getting any results in any area of life. Fed up of being down bad, in the mud, struggling to pick yourself up, you know. This is where this could be one of the best times to, you know, pick yourself up and get after it, okay. This is like the Sigma grind set, okay. You know, this is where you focus on yourself, you know. You think of the person who you want to be, okay. What you want to be like, what you want to look like, you know. What you want to be doing career-wise, you know. What sort of people do you want to be dating. This is where this comes into play. You focus on yourself and you cut out all the outside distractions, you know. Set yourself a goal in the gym. Get after it, you know, progressive overload. Get stronger, get better each time. Keep focus, discipline. Keep moving forward one step at a time, okay? That's how you build discipline. Just do the things you know you need to do, even though you can't be bothered. And they're like, oh, how am I going to do that if I can't be bothered? You literally have to just keep taking the first step. Okay, once you've taken that first step, the second step, third step, fourth step, fifth step, so much easier to take, okay? You get that forward positive momentum, pushes you forward to the next thing, okay? And when you start seeing results in different areas of life, especially with the fitness, you know, you feel good about yourself, feel more confident, you know? So you keep turning up, and that discipline grows. You know, you cut out loads of distractions, like women, you know, for a brief period. You get the gym going, nutrition, sleep. You look after yourself, focused, disciplined, like I said earlier. And some excuses may come up, you know? Oh, I can't be bothered. Oh, I don't have the time. This, that, and the other. But guys, you have to cut out all the BS excuses during this time, okay? You're no longer, you know, your focus is no longer scattered around, you know, chasing women or playing games constantly, you know, 10 hours a day or whatever you do. You're focused on new things. You're focused on improving. You're focused on getting better. And if all you do is make excuses and complain, you're going to be stuck in the same situation you are now in five, ten years' time, Okay. That's what separates the champions from the losers, okay? Even though everyone falls down in life, the champions keep getting back up, okay? That's why you, when you see loads of these people complaining, you know, oh, my life sucks, this, that, and the other. Oh, you know, it's terrible, you know. Uh, but then they don't... <laughs> but then they don't do anything about it. You know, what is that about? How is your life going to improve if you don't do anything about it? And you're obviously not serious enough about your goals if you're not willing to do what it takes. You know, you could be overweight, or you could be super skinny. You look in the mirror, and the person looking back at you, you know, you don't respect them. You don't like, you don't like how they look. Yet you'll keep complaining and not change anything about that person. Now, what does that say about you? How can you be like that and then point the finger at everyone else, not knowing there's three fingers pointing back at yourself? You have to change. You have to do it. Okay, stop complaining. Stop whining. Okay, no one owes you anything in life. No one's going to care about your life as much as you care about it. So start doing something about it. You know, I believe a lot of men could do with this, you know, Sigma grind set stage or whatever we're calling this, okay? And why? Because you look around these days and everyone's just settled, you know? Everyone's just fine with being average or below average when you see a lot of people. You know, they don't even try. Everyone could do with this, you know? Focused mindset, okay? Cutting out distractions, focusing on themselves, becoming better in different areas, okay? You got loads of crap stuck in your beard. How about you start grooming your beard, okay? Take out those sweets, all those bits of chocolate out of your beard. Start taking care of yourself. Start taking pride in your appearance. Look after your health. Go to the gym, okay? Shows you respect yourself as well. Oh, I don't care what it looks like to other people. Guys, you want to put your best foot forward and become the best version, not just for yourself, but the others around you, okay? How are other people going to respect you if you don't respect yourself? Like, really think about that. Why should other people, you know, give you the respect you deserve? You don't even respect yourself. That's a sad thing. And once you've gone through the stage, you know, you've improved, you know, physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, you know, you've got more confidence, this, that, and the other. You're able to actually talk to people or whatever you were struggling before. You've improved it. Now, this is the time you don't have to stay in this phase, okay? You've transformed now. You can actually go out and, and you know, Reap some of the rewards, you know. The fruits of your labor. Don't stay in the, the Sigma grind set phase, you know, for years on end. Because once you've improved, why not start acting on those things that you couldn't do before? 
like the track the people that you never could attract before because you know you're better now you become a better version of yourself don't stay stuck in that grind set phase you know and if you do need to go back into that phase for any reason you know further down the line then, then feel free to do so you know what i mean you go in and out of phases in life you don't have to be stuck to one phase throughout all of your life you know life has ups and downs life has phases you know at one phase you're going to be more focused on this and another phase you're going to be more focused on that you know for one phase you may be focused on your career and then another phase you may be more focused on you know your health your nutrition but then once you get them to a certain level you know a certain good level you can kind of bounce them out and maybe focus on something else that's how it works okay you know, so once you've had your, you know, your Sigma grind set phase, you've built up the discipline, due diligence, you know, sweat equity in the gym, you know, this, that, and the other. You've moved forward. You've put your best foot forward. You're a better version of yourself. Now you can enjoy some of the fruits of your labor, okay? Don't get stuck in the Sigma grind set phase, okay? Because there's more to life than just thinking, you know, you're a badass lone wolf and you don't need anyone. Guys, that's a good phase to go through, but life is so much better. When you have shared experiences, you know, you've got a tribe, you've got a group of boys, you know, you can rely on this, that, and the other to help push you forward. And I think that's just a much better way to live. With that being said, if you enjoyed this video, why not watch another one? I'm sure you'll enjoy it. You got this.